Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Nicklix. So in this video, I am going to explain you <clears throat> how to uh, create a cookies and how to access its values from uh, the Laravel 8. So starting with this, uh, I am going to create a new form. Uh, I have to create a form in resources, views and I can just open this display form. I need to just copy this paste this and uh, this is a form and what I need here is I need to save it as in the views cookie hyphen form hyphen uh, dot blade dot php so I have saved in this uh, like I'm going to show you where I have been saved it's c drive xam sg docs my second project and its resources views and cookie form uh, cookie hyphen form dot blade dot php so this is a form so the form action uh, by clicking on a form uh, it will be taking me to a page uh, to a url as cookie form and the method will be post and i will be going to create here as a username that it be input type text name equals to you and the second one will be the password so it's it will be password input type text let it be text only so name equals to p so here i am going to create a break uh, like in order to have some like a good representation of my form so now i am going to write here as in type submit i am going to name it as s so this is my form <clears throat> so form will be taking me to the uh, cookie form url and with the method post so now uh, moving to the web.php i have to create a url with cookie form so i am going to create a url because as my route is the post method form is having a post method so i am just going to create a post method so here i can say here as cookie slash form and i'm going to so when my this cookie form is encountered it is going to show me the it is going to uh, give me the uh, you can say save cookies save cookies method so when this form has been submitted when this form has been submitted it is going to uh, like uh, it will be finding the root with the cookie form and cookie form will be taking me to the i controller save cookies so uh, this was a form whenever whenever i am going to save this save this form it will be taking me to the uh, save cookie let's open i controller uh, in the app HTTP controllers and I controllers. So I have created a form as save cookie. So here public function save cookie and as my uh, request because uh, I need to submit the values over here. So this way your Whenever you will be submitting your form, it will be taking you to the I controller save cookie method. So first of all, I need to create a route uh, that will just open a form. For that, I need to create a cookie. I'm creating a URL with cookie and what it will be opening, it will be opening me, it will be taking me to the display cookie form display display cookie form function in i controller so whenever the cookie url is encountered it will be taking me to the you can say uh, here whenever the cookie i will be writing cookie over here so it will be taking me to the i controller display cookie form i can just see here display c form a little bit smaller function name so in the i controller i can say here as public function display c form 
and in this i am going to return return view that will be your i have created the cookie form so cookie form so this view will be returned so uh, moving to this part like if i am going to type here as cookie and it will be taking me to the display c form function and display c form function will be returning cookie form that is this one so if i am going to refresh this uh, display c form does not exist in your uh, this controller because uh, in web.php i have written here as display c form and here i am going to display it. so there is a spelling mistake over here so i am going to say as display c form so now uh, the username and password like the form of cookie is in appeared in front of me so wherever i am going to save this it is taking me to this url cookie form url and cookie form url uh, will be taking me to save cookie function in i controller so i am going to uh, type in save cookie function in this i am going to say as username equals to uh, request input the name of the username is being given as you and i am going to write here as you and the, to the password i have given the assign a name as p so i am going to say here as password and now if i am going to write here as if username if username equals to admin i am going to put here double quotes because uh, i need to compare this and and so both username and password values should be compared with admin admin and if this both values are true and it is being matched so i can say here echo login successful login success and after that i am going to create a minute variable with the minute of with the value of 5 so if i want uh, my cookies values to be created so i have to use the response object i am going to create a response variable uh, and response object and i will pass an object of response class in this in this i am going to create a so in this you have to create uh, do you have to pass an argument i can say it's uh, you can say uh, hello so it will be a i have created a response object that has a reference of response class so in order to use a response class in the upper one you have to just include your uh, use element eliminate uh, similar to the request you have to response uh, you have to uh, use the response object so here you are have uh, like included your response and now with the help of response variable uh, i am going to create response object i need to create a cookie response with cookie and uh, i am going to use its internal function cookie and uh, i am going to create a cookie name name with the username the username that has been I, I have received from the form this is the name of the cookie and how much time it will be uh, valid so it will be valid for five minutes after five minutes the cookie will automatically be deleted and now i am going to say here as a uh, password uh, let's say password and i am going to pass here as password and how much time it will be valid it will be valid for a five minute so response with cookie cookie password password so here i have created a response object and with the help of response object i have got a with cookie function in which constructor of cookie has been passed that contains your three arguments the name of the cookie variable you need to create the value you need to pass in that variable and how much time cookie will be valid and after five minutes the cookie will be automatically destroyed so in this way you have to create your uh, like uh, cookies and you need to return it to the uh, this uh, view so in order to return this you, you need to just write here return response so let's check out that whether it's work or not so here it's something unexpected that is being encountered so we need to check uh, there if there is a there is some spelling mistakes over there so here username if i'm going to say username admin password admin and if i'm going to submit 
so login successful and a hello is being printed because right now i am having a hello in my response object so it means uh, username was admin and password was admin so login success messages print and if echo login and after that a five variable minute is been a minute variable is been created and its value has been assigned by five and then i have created a response object with the help of response object i have created a name and password with a user a, a name and password cookie with a name of name and password and i and i have assigned a value of username and password that is going to expire in five minutes and i have returned the response so uh, the hello means the uh, cookie is being created with the name and password. So now I am going to display this cookie form. So in order to display this in the cookie form, I am going to write here as value. So I am going to say here as a uh, cookie get uh, the variable name you have. Uh, the name of the cookie that you have created so i need to display its value as the whatever the name a uh, cookie whatever the cookie name is having a value that will be printed over here and whatever the value password field of cookie will be having that will be displayed over here so uh, this was a name and password that need to display and uh, I need to create a one more function. So that is a public function, get cookie. And I need to say here as uh, request request. And I need to just print here as I need to fetch here a request cookie name and the value variable with the request cookie uh, need to give it in the single quote so name and password and now i am going to return my view return view that will be uh, cookie form cookie form so i'm going to create a a URL also in order to open this. So here I'm going to say as get cookie and it will be taking me to get cookie function in I controller. So this one and here it's get cookie. So I'm going to see here as get cookie. So whenever I am going to uh, like click here, uh, when I am going to open this URL, it will be taking me to I controller get cookie function. And in get cookie function, I have uh, like created a variable with name and value, and uh, the view will be returning cookie form. So cookie form will be return uh, this one. And right now we have a name and value variable set in this cookie. So the name cookie gets name will be printing uh, the name variable by default and the value password variable will be printed the password value by default so this was all about cookie i hope you like my video if you like my video do subscribe to my channel and like and share my videos and click on the notification button so that whenever i upload a video you can get notification of all this tutorials that i upload so thanks for watching my video